Guys, whew, check out that stone setup, huh? Pretty cool, eh? Right here I got two hotel pans, and that's kind of what I use as a water base in a hotel pan. This one's the stainless steel, this one's in polycarbonate, the reason why I have both. I was just checking out different heights. You can see we have different heights on them. I couldn't choose, so that's why I got different ones. I thought the stainless steel was cooler. It also is more rigid. Uh, one disadvantage to it is that the metal filings or swarf can rest to the bottom of it, so it needs more maintenance than the polycarbonate. The polycarbonate is more flexible. Thing is, you shouldn't be bearing down on the stone to sharpen anyways. Uh, this right here is a Naniwa sink bridge. Uh, it's pretty cool if you like to sharpen in your kitchen sink. It's probably too big. I think I do prefer having the uh, stone basin sideways and using uh, this right here. This is just a Naniwa uh, just bridge, stone bridge. I don't know what it's called. You know, it doesn't fit exactly. This is fully extended, but it has these rubber discs right here, which keep it from moving, which is awesome. And you shouldn't be bearing down when you sharpen anyways. Just let the stone do the work. Uh, sharpening stones over here. These are my soaking stones. These are my high performance ones right here. They've got, I'm not sure what the abrasive is, but it cuts anything. Like these will cut S90V, S110V. Could be a silicon carbide, I don't know, but love these stones. They wear down super quick. This is the 400 grit latte, uh, 1200 grit. I don't know who the maker is. Uh, this right here is a Suda Hero. This is my 3K. So this is probably my favorite stone setup right now, if I'm honest with you guys. It's my sponge. Uh, use this uh, part right here to help clean off burrs. Talk about that in another video. You can also look up John from Japanese Knife Imports. He's the guy who got me on the sponge. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, here's my flattening stone right here. It's an Atoma 140. Uh, definitely excellent, especially for some uh, coarse reprofiling. Got to be careful. Diamond strip out. It's very expensive. Perfect for flattening water stones. But realistically, man, I mean, I prefer something like this right here. And this isn't going to really uh, repair a bowed out stone. But what this does is it's kind of like preventative maintenance. So before and after you sharpen, you know, you just give it a few passes with this. This is much, much more aggressive for sure. Uh, this is my 8K uh, Naniwa uh, Snow White Stone. Uh, pretty cool. A little finicky though. You got to make sure it doesn't crack. This has a base on it, so that's good. So I don't got to worry about cracking as much. Don't soak this stone. In fact, don't soak any of your Naniwa stones, okay? None, none of the Chozeras or professional stones get soaked. Uh, this is a Naniwa Super Stone right here, the 12,000 grit. Uh, excellent for my straight razor. This is probably the perfect stone setup for my uh, straight razor right there. It's a Naniwa 1K stone, excellent all-around sharpening stone. If you just could have one stone and you're not going to do any reprofiling work on your own, probably just get that stone right there. There's my strop. It's got the one micron diamond compound on there, great for finishing edges. Smacho Zera 3K, an excellent finishing stone right there. Uh, it came with this little Nagura, which is cool. I mean, it, it works with this thing. Uh, probably doesn't work very good. It's too uh, coarse to use with these stones over there. And, uh, you know, that's my setup in a nutshell. This is my workhorse stone right here. This is my Naniwa 400. And I find I use this stone probably the most for the kind of sharpening I like to do. So, excellent. There's my stone setup. Question, uh, do you need all these different stones? No. No, you don't. But the reason why to have all these stones, you know, people don't realize that you can sharpen different knives and get different performances uh, depending on the abrasives that you use. You know, going for maybe different finishes, depending on how big the bevel is, this and that. So I find having the different stones uh, really kind of complements my sharpening. And it's just fun. I like it a lot. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.